guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to quickly come on here and just show you some of the things that I've been enjoying in my tarot practice, as well as I have a couple of items here that I wanna show you that are decorative. So I think I'm gonna start off with some of the decks that I have here. So I have two Oracle and a few tarot decks three tarot decks. So I have been loving the Antique Anatomy Tarot lately. I have been using this pretty much every single day. And I've been enjoying the experience. I know I've talked quite a lot about this deck on my channel at this point. <laughs> but I honestly really do enjoy this deck. I've been, like I said, I've been using it a lot lately. I recently purchased Monica Bordersky's Between the Worlds, uh, Shadow Casting with Bone and Curio Oracle Cards. So I have had this deck on my wish list for so long now. I finally decided to purchase it for myself at the end of last month. And I just really love how it pairs with the Antique Anatomy Tarot. They both have that kind of vintage feel to it, or to them. <laughs> and they have very simpli uh, simplistic artwork as well. The cards are also really cute. It's like a playing card size, so I find it very easy to shuffle. Although I would say I have larger hands, I'm five foot eight. I do really enjoy the small size. I don't have a deck this small in my collection yet, so I have really been enjoying the experience of shuffling this deck. I find it really easy because of just how how cute and petite it is. The cardstock is so thick though. It feels like cardboard. It's very thick. Guidebook has been incredible. I think this is probably one of the best guidebooks that I own at the moment, especially for Oracle. Um, you get a little story. You get a message, advice for upright and reversed. And I find this deck is very easy to use with your intuition as well. So I have just been really enjoying how it pairs with the Antique Anatomy Tarot, which is quickly becoming one of my favorite tarot decks at the moment. Um, especially around this time of the year, I've been enjoying it more. Um, just wanted to show you some of the cards if you haven't seen this deck yet. It is a pip deck, but I do find it very easy to read, to be honest. It's really easy to connect to your intuition. Another deck that I've been enjoying is the Trick or Treat Tarot. I've spoken about this deck so much. Uh, these are actually the two cards I pulled today for my card a day. So like the Antique Anatomy Tarot, I pretty much just use Tarot and Oracle once or twice a day, usually in the morning, um, just to kind of get like an overview of what to expect that day or really what to unpack. As well as I sometimes will do a reading at the end of the day just as like a, a good night message almost. So I've been using this deck the same way. And with Halloween approaching, I've been really enjoying using this deck. I find it very accurate. I went through a very personal situation where I recently had to cut off 
a toxic family member that I'm not really gonna get too deep into in this video, at least for now. And I find that this deck has been very spot on with a lot of, I guess the emotions that I've been feeling going through that experience. Um, and it's been really helping me process all of that. So I would definitely recommend this deck if you enjoy Halloween and Honestly, it's a very nostalgic deck. I <laughs> I feel like I'm just being transported to the past. There are several Halloween costumes that, like this one, for example, like that's straight out of my childhood. Um, it really does just kind of transport you to a happy time in the past and all the different experiences that you had as a child, trick-or-treating. Um, so this is definitely a really enjoyable deck around this time of the year. I was using this deck a lot to the point where I had to take a break to use some other decks to give them some love as well. So this is the Witch's Tarot by Burning Paper Hearts. You can purchase this on Etsy. Also, there's nudity in this deck. So before I start flipping through it, you might wanna jump ahead to the next deck if that is something that you're not comfortable with. So, like I said, I honestly, I couldn't put this deck down. I was just enjoying my experience with this deck. I've been doing a lot of shadow work lately and I just found that this deck was so perfect for that, but it just got to the point where I wasn't touching any other deck. So I, I have, you know, I have had to retire it for the time being just so I can give some other decks some love. Um, but honestly, I am so obsessed with this deck, even now just flipping through the artwork looking at all the photography. It's just a very beautiful deck. And I love it. <laughs> so the last Oracle deck that I have here is the Deep, Dark, and Dangerous Oracle. This is a Stacy DeMarco deck. I don't think I have a single Stacy DeMarco deck apart from this one, by the way. And it's published by Rockpool, so Really nice guidebook, really nice card stock. The cards are not too big. Like the Blue Angel cards are ridiculously big. So I'm always hesitant to pick up one of those decks, but I really do enjoy the size of the Rockpool Oracle decks. And the back is really neat. I love it. The cards, like the artwork, it's digital. I'm pretty sure it's like a digital collage. but I do think that the artist really pulled it off. And I don't know, I find this deck kind of cheesy, but I love it, <laughs> especially around this time of the year. There's vampires, there's different goddesses, there's werewolves, there's ghosts, there's um, La Llorona. Is La Llorona in this deck? Maybe not La Llorona, but there is, um... I think there's Banshee, yeah, Banshee. Hell is in it. So a lot of different figures. So you can use this for many different purposes. You, you don't have to just use this for divination. You can use it to identify different energies around you. Um, and that's why I like these types of decks. Like you, you can use them for so many different things. You don't have to just use them in a divinatory way. Um, to, I mean like to tell the future or um, you don't even have to use it. Uh, oftentimes I will use Oracle 
um, just to get like a, a general outlook of how my day is gonna go, what certain certain things are gonna pop up. I've been doing a lot of shadow work, so I'll I'll use it kind of in that way to kind of get an idea of what what I can unpack that day particularly. So I like when you can use them for other things as well. You can use them for, if you're into this kind of thing, you can use them for, for magical purposes. Talismans even, like I, I do like when there's so many different things that you can use your ducks for. <laughs> <clears throat> Also the guidebook is, it's not bad. You get a duality meaning. So you'll have um, the two different, oh, it's Cersei. But you'll get a duality meaning. So here's truth and deception. You'll get a little paragraph explaining what the card means. And then you'll get the mythology around the figure of the person in the card. And Sometimes I find that, you know, it's the paragraph that, you know, explains the meaning of the card. There will be something that is relevant to my situation in there or even in the story uh, of the myth. Sometimes I, I will find that I resonate more with a, a section or maybe like a, a sentence within the paragraph of the myth. So I do really enjoy the guidebook. And you even get crystal companions and plant companions for each card, I'm pretty sure, yep. So if that is something that you enjoy, you might want to take a look at this deck and um, pick it up. Or maybe do further research. I think I'm gonna start doing full reviews slowly on my channel of all the decks that I get to know more intimately and I can definitely do one on this deck eventually as I get to know it better. Um, Oracle decks like I said I usually, well to be honest with you I haven't been, I pull maybe once a day uh, tarot and oracle so I used to do a lot more than that in a day but I've just been so busy that I can really only do uh, one I can only pull cards maybe once a day or twice a day and that's if I'm lucky so it will probably take me a bit more time to get to know every single deck and honestly I haven't really purchased that many decks because of that uh, but I have been really enjoying the decks that I've been using, so I am just using this as an opportunity to really get to know the decks that I already have and enjoy. And I think that, like I said, this is just, I think that it's just the perfect opportunity to do that. And that's pretty much all I have here for decks to show you. I did recently pick up this crystal, I wanted something, like I, I'm going through a skull phase right now and I'm seeing crows a lot. Crows, cats, and butterflies, particularly monarchs. So I just felt like it was really a good time to pick up a crystal like this and I, I really wanted one with uh, the crow on top of the skull and I wanted just a skull crystal um, I had been waiting to get one and then I thought that this was probably just the best time to do it so <laughs> I went ahead and I purchased this off Etsy I think the shop is called curvy crystals you know what I'll put it on the screen now if I'm wrong and I'll link it in the description box as well if you are interested in crystals and if you are interested in this one particular crystal that I'm showing you now I'll zoom you in a bit more but I don't make any money off the commission by the way I don't make any money off of any of the stuff I'm just here to spread the love and I just kind of want to relax today. It's been really hectic and stressful, so I just kind of wanted to come on here and just uh, show you some of the things that I'm enjoying and maybe we can have a chat about that. So that's all 
I want to do, basically. There's no ulterior motives or anything. So I really do enjoy the crystal. It's, I'm pretty sure it's authentic. I'm not a crystal expert, but I've heard that, you know, the way that you can tell that a crystal is authentic is it'll be cold to the touch. And I remember when I opened the box that it was shipped in after I received it, the box was warm, but the crystal was freezing cold inside of the packaging. So I think that's a good sign. And yeah, it's pretty cold to the touch. I'm pretty sure this is authentic. Again, it's it's obsidian. Um, I purchased it mainly for protection. I also, to kind of go along with the skull theme that I have going on, especially even, you can tell with the decks too that I have. Um, a particular theme that I'm interested in at the moment. I got this little candle holder. It's a tea light holder, as you can see, if it would, it's focusing on this deck. <laughs> but it's so cute. I got it on Amazon. I can link this in the description box as well. So as you can see, I'm going through this like skull theme right now. I like to decorate my coffee bar I have a coffee bar. <laughs> I like to decorate it seasonally. So that's pretty much the only decorations that I have for Halloween up at the moment. As my daughter gets older, I can definitely do more with that. But right now I'm just keeping everything up high. <laughs> so I just love it. It's really well made. It's got some weight to it. Um, you can see it's got a nice flat bottom. It's as big as my hand, pretty much, so. Like exactly the same <laughs> size as my hand here. But it's, I'm just obsessed, I, I love I love how it looks up on my coffee bar. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to show you here. Let me know in the comments section below what you guys are using right now as Halloween is approaching. What do you find yourself drawn to with your tarot and oracle as well as like, how are you decorating for Halloween? Um, if that's even something that you're doing right now. I'd love to know. Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.